Ladies and gentlemen, the Shred Gaming Theatre Com video. We know that the PlayStation 4 now will not support audio CDs. It will not be able to play MP3s. And Sony have also confirmed that the PlayStation 4 will not support external hard drives. More on that in just a moment. So previously with the PlayStation 3, you were able to of course play audio CDs and you're also able to stream music from say your home PC to your console so in short that's all locked down so how can you do that well the only way you can actually do it is by subscribing to Sony's own music unlimited service which of course is a music streaming service in which case you're allowed to play that music while you're gaming now for me this doesn't bother me too much. Why? Because I don't actually really game while I'm listening to music. I just find it extremely distracting. The only time I actually ever do that is if I'm like grinding an area in like an RPG. And even then I'll usually just throw on my own, you know, uh, PC or whatever, just put something on because I just find it quicker. However, to many people, this is going to definitely be a blow. Also, Remember how I said about the internal drives only? Well, this has been confirmed in the fact you cannot physically plug in a second hard drive into the machine of a USB port. It says, and I quote, PS4 is equipped with a 5400 RPM SATA 2 hard drive. Users can choose to install a new hard drive so long as it complies with these standards. It's no thicker than 9.5 uh, mm. And is no lar and is larger than 160 gigabytes. So, to be honest with you, I'm actually quite of annoyed about this. Um, as much as I've been giving the, as much as I gave the Xbox One flack for basically locking down its uh, games at launch, obviously this has been mostly resolved now. People are already smacking Sony around. Um, I've seen posts on Twitter, Reddit, and a couple of others. Um, pointing out that, you know, users are already really upset about this. They're, they're basically criticizing them because of the following, you know, logical argument. The PlayStation 4 is supposed to be like the all-in-one entertainment center in your living room. Where, whereas if you can't even play the music that you already currently own, that kind of sucks. Now, I know the argument. You could get Sony's Music Unlimited service, but what about if that doesn't have audio or tracks that you already own and you, you like and you want to play. Furthermore, why should you pay for a streaming service when you probably own a streaming service or you have a streaming service who would own the music? And those are the arguments that we're seeing from people and it's kind of hard to argue against them. Now, Sony have actually responded to this, may I add. Shuhai Yoshida took to Twitter and he said, and I quote, thanks for the feedback to the lack of MP3 and DLNA. DLNA, by the way, just out of quote, uh, is the service which allows you to stream from PC to the PlayStation and DLNA support at the launch of the PS4. I'll share it with the PS4 dev team for future consideration, end quote. I actually kind of don't like that res response because it's like future consideration when is that? Now, I know this sounds a bit harsh on the PlayStation, but I, I'm actually really shocked about this. I knew that the streaming unlimited service was being implemented, but I thought it was going to be in conjunction. And I don't really think it's morally right for us to jump on the Xbox One uh, DRM situation but then not do the same because effectively the whole purpose of this if you read between the lines is to basically lock the PlayStation 4 down so that you can only play music and force you to get the streaming unlimited service. Now as I said to clarify this doesn't affect me really because I game in a room where I've got access to all my music collection anyway. Um, I've got you know no real urge to listen to music while I'm gaming regardless but to a lot of people they were you wanted to use the PlayStation 4 for this and I've seen people already considering cancelling the play the PlayStation 4 pre-order and going towards the Xbox one because it's going to be more media orientated not that the Xbox one is perfect in this I you know I hasten to add I mean the Xbox one's had its own share of bombshells the last couple of days so I, I suppose in karma sense it's only right that Sony have at least one black mark against their name so, 
There are various other features, of course, which are not being supported at launch. These are quite numerous. Um, it's mentioned that, for example, Share Controller, as well as Suspend Mode, won't be available on launch. Now, if I had to guess why this is, it would most likely be simply because Sony ran out of time in the launch window. And, to be fair, system updates after launch are pretty damn commonplace. We know that the PlayStation 4 is going to be getting a pretty damn big update um, on launch, which is going to patch in numerous features. And is also a demonstration of just how complicated the operating systems and the functions of the next generation systems are. It's a symptom of, quite simply, that it's taking a hell of a lot longer to program in those functionalities. It's, it's basically in a complete OS. Um, this is for the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. And so obviously we're going to be seeing extra features added in. And this is why Sony have reserved a certain portion of RAM, because honestly speaking, it's probably not really sure how much memory uh, in the end the system is actually going to require. Regardless, I'll leave you to your thoughts on this one. I mean, as I said, personally, it doesn't really affect me. I know for some people it's, you know, really annoying because, you know, they want one console which is in the middle of their living room and that gives them everything. That gives them access to music, that gives them access to the gaming, you know, internet access and whatever. They're basically using it as not only a gaming device but a media PC as well. So I guess we're just going to have to see. People are pretty annoyed about this. Uh, especially about the second hard drive support as well. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm pretty certain that there were murmurings that you could actually link in another drive via USB, but I'm not 100% certain, so I'm going to have to do a bit of checking on that. I would do so now, but I'm running extremely late and I still need to go to work and I need to edit videos, unfortunately. Well, regardless, hopefully you've enjoyed the relatively short video. Do let me know what you think about this one. I'm... As I said, it doesn't affect me, but you're already getting people who are doing the I'm cancelling my pre-order uh, dance on the internets. But regardless, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.